All right, welcome to Smokey's Garage Files. I'm your boy, journalist, and on this one, we are here to check out Heartless Crew, Heartless Theme. Why we are doing it this way is because, one, we are going to get back to the people just doing nothing. Uh, YouTube is kicking my ass on the copyright front of that, so I'm trying to get my Patreon and stuff set up so we can start doing some other stuff over there. Not quite ready yet. That being said, uh, I'm also trying to obtain a structure of how we're going to teach me about garage. Because at this point, just like the grime stuff, I'm fucking invested. There's nothing I could do. I bought in. I'm here now. All I can do now when I hear music is like, oh, we should just put this like with a drill joint. Like not actually sampling it, but like using what they did here on that shit. Like that would be crazy. Or like that uh, intelligent jungle. Oh, my God. If I could figure out how to make those type of beats, blood, that's probably all I'd be making. Just, I don't know. But that's where I'm at right now. So I would like to start getting a better grasp on who was who, where was what, all these things, kind of like I do, or partially how I have with the grime scene. Because it's so vast, I'm still learning so much all the time. But I feel like I have a good, we'll say, rough framework of what has happened so far. So I would like to begin to get that with these uh, Garrett songs. And I know Heartless Crew and Pay As You Go Crew and some other folks out there just were running rough shot. So I'm starting with Heartless. And the next joint I'm going to drop is going to be from Pay As You Go. And if you guys can just kind of help direct me better, because now we're not looking for, well, maybe he'll like this. Now we are on the, like with the grime or the UK rap or just how I do music, turning over every goddamn stone. I just would like to try and turn them over in a chronological or streamlined fashion. So help me on that effort. That being said, that'll be it on this little rant. Let's get into this one. Please hit that like and subscribe, and let's get into this one. Do not blame me for video quality. People are in trouble. They need the vibes. <laughs> if this is the joint they did, uh, heartless. We got. If this is the joint they did from the 60 Minutes joints, I've heard this, but I've never seen the video. Hold on. Hey, say no more. Say no more. It's just man to man them from long time for the man them. I put my neck on the line. We don't shop work. Neither got be, but everything's fine. And Coach D, me and the man them, we get M's all the time. When we go shopping by the latest design, that, 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 that. Jamie. Listen to this nigga bear. He got this nigga flow cuss. See me and the man that we get M's all the time. When we go shopping by the latest design. That, 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 that's mine. Heartless crew, we bought the whole shop. So we thought that we hit. Yeah, he's for sure patterned his flow after blood. But everything's fine. I could see me and the man that we get M's all the time. When we go shopping by the latest design. That, 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 that. That's mine. Heartless crew, we bought the whole shop. So keep a thought that we hit the jackpot. Or if we done a move that was hot, but nine and nine, we've been working hard. Now it's time for Heartless crew to flex real hard. Grow up on guard, my team gone, it's gone. Tell her to get him, I forget my bars. Jump in our van, come back to our yard. We're flexing, flexing, sexing no hard. The hook, time periods, probably a smash. Does it stand up outside of just like being good and in the genre it comes from? I would say no. Within the genre it comes from, it for sure stands up to do the best. But outside of that, no. Uh, I do, however, like the combination of just we fucking just throw everything in the pot and we make shit like 
Because that's really what I fucking noticed from this shit is just I do the thing the way I do the thing. If I like it, I love it. Can't tell me nothing. And that begins to like come infectious. And they're like, well, I like to do this too. And then this is where you get, uh, I don't know the white guy's name. I don't actually, I think Bushkin's the only person I know from here. But uh, this white guy looks completely different in the 60 minutes set. Like it's like he really gets super tapped later on. But like he's already on the path of that journey. Like at this point, so it's just it's crazy to see like I guess some, how some of these people's personalities have changed over the years, or just how they have just affirmed over the years. Because he is somebody who I would say has just stepped even further into where he was feeling at at this age, whatever age he is here. We don't lie, we multiply. Everybody wanna copy our style, original style from a long time ago, original crew from a long time ago. Me and my bros all across the globe. We set the trend that others follow. Our motto is keep moving, and if you're still living, you're still listening. I got your children singing all the rhythms on the cars in the streets and the buildings. Or getting cock in the park when you're chilling. Top billing, even when we're not billing. Some boy get to drilling, we're willing and winning, and that's straight for your ring. Me and my brothers are rolling, big daddy stinking, everlasting. Who's asking? That was a solid verse. It's just, I'm still at the early stages of accepting. If it's not a geezer flow, I'd just be like, bro, you could have rapped that better. Like, it just sounds so stiff. But it's just also part of the, the it's a different flow. He's actually rapping properly. He's doing more of a, like a DJ flow. Like, I'm here to set the tone. I'm not here to be Mr. Lyrical Miracle. I'm here to motherfucking get ass shout shake when this verse come on. That's what we're here for. Other than that, I don't really care. So that's why I'm like, ah. Like, I get it, but I don't. It's very hard for me. We are work hard from the early 90s. We used to bust dance and they get a hot me. Chimes weekly. Them time you had to mix properly. Hold the mix, you could the mix sloppy. We full up a tricks. MC chat crap, they go bottle for that. We had to come correct. Give it our respect. Everything we get now, we deserve it. Don't waste it, preserve it, invest it, observe it. And if you use it, if it don't abuse it, get that blessed. No one can curse it. I find my thing is legit. Colossi, heartless work, I saw it. Restless, fear, I saw it. God bless, Colossi, heartless crew. Heartless, 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 heartless. heartless. Now that I've been to, I've not been to a proper rave out here. I still need to go. But now that I've partied multiple times here in the UK, at least, I truly do understand if I was pitched on the dance floor, like this would be a fun one, blood. This is a fun one. Just as a record I'm listening to, like it's obviously going to make the gears like, yo, you could be in the, in the I clean the house mix, I'm doing the dishes joint. But like this also would work like, Oh, I'm getting sloppy. Oh, you got a yelling section in the song that drunk people are going to get to hear? This is impossible not to work. Like, literally impossible. I gotta say, it's a good one still. I may have my, my qualms over certain things about the record, but overall, in the format, it's just pure classic. Nothing you can say about it. Nothing you can say about it. Good joint. Shout out to Heartless Crew, Bushkin and them boys. 
But uh, yeah, like I said, we are trying to get a educational experience on this as well now, like we have with the grind stuff. So please, if you are willing to help on that effort, help the boy out. I'm trying to learn two, two things about this so I can actually make better versions of music because I got this one record. It's called Suns- Sunsets. That like, yo, when, that, when this record comes out, like I'm going to put it on the Garage Files just so you guys can be like, hey, this little motherfucker. What did he do? I'm trying to tell you. It's so fucking good. Like, it's o- I only rapped on it because I know that when a DJ gets his hands on it and can take my vocals off and just play it, I still want to get like credit for the record. I still want to be that cunt. Because the remixes that this fucking song Sunsets is going to get. Oh, Jesus Christ. That being said, I also would like to be able to make my own Sunsets one day, and I can't do that without learning about this genre because I just don't fucking understand it, and that shit was like the backbone of the shit we made. So let's get into this. Thank you very much for all your help in advance. I will see you guys on the next one. Please hit that like and subscribe. I'm out of here, and thank you for making it to the end of this one with me. You are a true soldier. I'm out of here. Peace.